Hello everyone and welcome to some more Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Here we are in Honey Marsh. Joining me today is my good friend the AFH 013. Back once again, he's the angel from hell and he's here to raise hell. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I call myself Amaloy for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's like that. It's like that old, like you, it's like that old Hotmail, like sexy beast one hundred and three. You're like, oh god. It's just like that. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, yeah. before we admire this level, or you know, or criticize, or a bit of both, I'm going to talk to this guy here. Who is he, Mister Farmer? Oh, where is it? Let's see. Jimmy Bob. Wait, uh, okay, I'll read this because it, it's fa it's fairly stock standard. Uh, honey marsh. All right, okay, so basically you got to get rid of these. Oh, right, so basically the honey is being drained from the, the honey marsh or whatever. We have to, you know, recover it all or turn off the machines. Now, for some reason, uh, Sparks called him Opie. I don't know if that's a reference to that show. Uh, not the Opie and Anthony, obviously. Um, like <laughs> yeah, Opie, Opie from, I, I think, Happy Days or something like that. The guy played by, the uh, what's it called, Ron Howard? Or something like that, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, because his name was Jimmy Bob. That that just sound, that reminds me of like SpongeBob or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's actually yeah. voiced by it's voiced by Tom Kenny. Tom of Kenny course. does like 80% of the voices in this game. That's the funny thing. Like, yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he, he's practically the main guy, but um, he's the, he's the top guy of Spyro into the Dragonfly. Um, but with Honey Marsh, I mean, it's been I think it's been since I reckon about 2004. Since I've actually played this level, so yeah, it's, it's really, really like not fresh in my mind. But already, yeah. the best thing I notice about it is how unique it feels in comparison to the other levels in the game, like which feel a lot more like Spyro three and two, you know, clones essentially. Um, even even if they are like different concepts, like for example, the the Cloud Nine one is kind of its own thing, but this one especially kind of has this really different feel to me. I don't I don't know. I, I like it a lot. Be interested to hear what you well, think as we carry on. Well, it's kind of like it reminds me of like if Honey Speedway were you know brought yep. into it like a yep. level, just like with Crops of Circle Country, just kind of being like you know Country Speedway being brought into a level, like not entirely, but to an extent anyway. I think it's kind of no, it's true. Like okay, it, it's kind of unfair to say that this level is just oh look, it's Honey Speedway in level form because yeah, they're very you know inventive things about it already. Like you can see like those. What are those like the the beehives that you like you push into the? Did you were you pushing those into the honey? That, that's pretty cool. What was I doing? Wait, that's just that's to say. A, that's a, oh shit! Yeah. God, oh, be careful! Yeah, there's like glitchy, a gem though. there. There's a gem there. Yeah. There's a gem. Okay, shit. Okay, yeah, I gotta get gem. a bloody spark. I, I sparks. I really quite <laughs> like the um the flowers though. That that's kind of exclusive to this level. Uh, remember, Honey Speedway is more kind of even gloomier than this. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly right. just like dark trees with the background. The background is, um, I think it's, it's actually, yeah, it's actually the the treetops background actually. So that's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's the yeah. Usually it seems that they're combining two levels. Yeah, it looks like kind of like Honey Speedway combined with treetops in this regard. So oh, and they dead. dead. That's so good. This this background is pretty good though. Actually, it kind of it feels a bit. Uh, one big problem with this game actually that I noticed at least is the backgrounds feel really lame uh, compared to you know Spyro one, two, and three. This one's kind of like its own thing. Do you know what I mean? Like. You know, cause, yeah, cause yeah, remember, Honey Speedway's one was was just a recycled. Um, all it was was they added these little beehives on top of the treetop stuff. This one is its uh, own yeah. thing, and, and and like it's kind of it's quite an amazing thing because this is all honey. You know, you're seeing that like it's going like downstream yeah, or something like that. It's kind of yeah. freaky to even think about, but yeah, really absolutely. Cool. They're fodder at little I, I, pigs. Yeah, of course they're the fodder or pigs, so you get to massacre more. In fact, they're they're like they're, they're like those pigs in uh, Ape Escape Two. Well, I know you don't like Ape Escape. Oh no, 2, I don't. I like, don't know. Like I just haven't played it enough. No, no. Oh, what, what? okay, all right. Yeah, well, the, these pig enemies at the beginning of the game that are a lot like that. Like they, they lack a body. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I got yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, to us, I find the background a bit like the sky just a bit too gloomy. It, like, it's a I bit gloomy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It is. 
but um, like it benefited from being brighter i think like it just doesn't it's like it, it reminds me also of robotica farms and robotica True. farms is obviously a very sunny bright kind of level like this just, just it does not look right being so gray in my opinion but you know yeah um i, I think i think i want i actually am would be curious as to what it would look like if it wasn't dark uh that should, we should probably try and employ a good friend joe hinden lang joe hindenburg to yeah, replace the, uh, the, the you know the texture or the the, the graphic of that because it would look interesting with with a different background yeah I think it's because it's I think it maybe it's it's trying to reflect the kind of down I think it could be trying to reflect the kind of down mood of the level because everything's being drained like all their energy is being taken away so I guess that's the yeah, rationalization yeah. you know I know what you mean I think I think right, that's the way of explaining it yeah. I guess nice. what was that, sorry yeah yeah uh, well, I guess they're, you know, they're using good old pathetic fallacy, as they call it, so... Pathetic fallacy. Yeah. Is, that, is that a logical fa fallacy? <laughs> no, it's, it's when, like, the weather, like, coincides with, like... Oh, you know, yeah. Sorry. With okay. the, the the script or the feelings of the character. It's like, you know, and... God, I, I'm getting really, trying. like... Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Game Sending to sign me off over this, but... It's like in King Lear, where, you know... Lear's like really angry because he's been like cast out of his kingdom and he's like giving this like angry speech and then it's like thunder and rain in the no, background course, so course, obviously yeah. yeah thunder and rain so same thing here basically yeah so uh, game send you can now you know leave your uh, insult insulting comments about that you know and it's just time saying. code now all right, okay there you go <laughs> all right so this this have you seen this this is the worst thing about this game to dare i say this is the egg thief it's so bad <laughs> it's so That's bad hilarious. look at him He's a, I do he's not a remember this at all. My God. No, neither do I. I don't remember it in the slightest. Like, uh, and I kind of like it actually. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's kind of you know, like right. what what's he supposed to be anyway? Like you don't see his face. He's, so. I don't know because the thing is, remember, there's a level a dragonfly awesome. It's uh, duckweed. What the fuck? <laughs> duckweed. Right. What the hell? Okay. Well, it reminds me of Buckweed from the the Little Rascals. But that's the only thing I can think the, of. Oh, the Little Rascals. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in it. A very long time. Yeah, nor, nor have actually it. seen it. Oh shit! Oh okay. Yeah, right. I, I've heard oh, of it, but I haven't seen. It. Oh, there you go, another one. Suzuki. Yeah, just... That's right, Minoru Suzuki. That's right. Yep. Kenzo Suzuki. There we go. We, we got we got some uh, we got some New Japan Pro Wrestling reference in there. Who? Well, I've heard oh, that name before. Some... Who's Kenzo? Is Kenzo he a race Suzuki. car driver? Uh, no, no. Kenzo Suzuki was a WWE wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> race car superstar. <laughs> race car superstar. Like <laughs> yeah, it's like Brock Lesnar was a uh, professional uh, football player. Oh wait, he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, well, um, you know Bob. Well, yeah, just to uh, uh, we'll get back on topic. We'll just say Bob Holly used to have a race car gimmick. Did he? Oh crap! Yeah, he did. Yeah, no. He's, yeah. No, no, Bob Holly, uh, oh, Hardcore okay. Holly. He he was like. Uh, Thurman Sparky Plug. That, that was his name. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, yeah fuck go. But yeah, anyway, Holly, so... but yeah. Um, that, that's yeah. what I have to say. I hate that guy. He's a bully and a prick. But um, yeah, just well, like JBL. Like JBL. Oh, yeah, JBL, yeah. you're a bully and a prick, but you, you can't yeah. take good. But yeah, so... Um, okay, here we go. We've got to turn this other thing off. I think I've been missing these, actually. So there's four left. These are the... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. It's like... Here's how you stop the whole thing from happening. You just flame it. You know what I mean? Like, it's classic, it's classic, like, rushed nature of this. There's no real, like, substance to it. It's bad. Like, I do like the fact that they have these machines. Like, it's actually a pretty cool idea. It's just, it's funny that it's like, all you have to do is just go up to it and really just hit it. That's, that's the yeah, whole exactly. thing. That's it. So, that is definitely a sign of the, um, of the game, you know, being rushed, of course, as we have commonly talked about. Um, yeah. I well, they could have put a button on it or something. Yeah, like in yeah, cups, yeah. Because because you know? there's like, like a um, it it's like it's like a wheel thing that you meant to turn, but obviously flaming it, you know, does the trick. I guess that's what they. Yeah, yeah which is kind of dumb. But yeah, yeah. yeah, just I guess to reiterate, I do not remember this level at all. There's nothing I remember about it. No, <laughs> me, I I do remember this is this bit here. I remember this. Uh, yeah, really random thing to remember. And I think the thing back there is like a tank challenge. I think I believe. So right. this is a nice style. Like I'm, I'm trying my best to kind of, you know, be positive about the game as opposed to everyone. Here's my big problem, and I, I briefly touched upon this in the last part. But what I, what the hell, Russell Tim? Seriously, I mean. Well. Okay, there we go. No, there's not. There's no point being negative about the names because the Ape Escape Three. Uh, 
um, what's the good monkey names were just ludicrous. They were just shite. Oh shit. Oh, what, what were they again? I can't even remember. Like, I you know, they'd be skin. like like monk X Y X. You know, what I mean, like like they'd like run out of names and they'd start to kind of like have like these code names almost. It, it just didn't. Oh work. okay. Yeah, um, that's, that's dumb. But here's one big problem that I find with like the, the reviewing culture and in fact the general like uh, what's the word like the general kind of public opinion about this game and that's that when people do reviews right like Pat Strikes Back he's the guy that created uh, he's creating that Crash fan game with his friend uh, he seems like a, oh, know, yeah, that good, guy. a good enough guy uh, I think I watched one of, his, one of his reviews and hated it I can't remember he, look I, I I watched the Enter the Dragonfly review I didn't have a problem with it but well, no, I didn't have I didn't have a problem with his style but what I had a problem with was him and this other guy whose videos I watched they were all like, talking about the game and they're trying to be a bit positive about it then they then they went on to full on hate mode and a lot of it ended up just being this ready he goes well i played the first three levels and i hated them so i'm not going to show you any more footage from the rest of the game i stopped playing it's like you fucking retards uh, you know like you're meant to actually whoopsie for christ's sake it's yeah, not that bad no you, you need to, they need to actually play the later levels because yeah. okay dragonfly um dojo for the most part yeah it's a little bit uninspired it's okay but it's a bit uninspired then you've got the level uh, crop circle country that that's actually okay you know it's not it's not bad but it's a bit just kind of lame and then luau island is is a bit of a mess so there we go now you got to try out this level cloud nine monkey monastery which is a absolute that is like a really good level like even on like scale of you know of spyro like the other spyro games if you ask me um, oh, okay. You know, Vol Vol uh, Thieves Den, which is an entire level based around the whole, like, the thieves. You know, you get to see the thieves right. again. That's I think that's a brilliant idea. You know, yeah, so, you know, they just, they, they basically stop playing after, like, a quarter of the game. It's like, that's not a proper review. You need to look well, at the whole they, thing. Because it's cool to hate on the game, and it's it's also easier to be comedic when you're hating on a game yeah. as well. Like, I, I, I hate these reviewers who are trying to be you now funny like i saw this irish guy reviewing bubsy the other day he was shite he was so oh i couldn't stand his humor it was terrible just making all these like he's like an irish avgn and he was really bad just making all these shit jokes and like it just it's just oh shut up you know yeah, and it, it's, yeah, like just about, very, it's very easy to like yeah like do the critique kind of style uh, like, yeah, oh, like exactly. angry, angry, no, angry like, reviewing style, I guess. Yeah, exactly. The angry reviewing style is it's become it's still apparently in vogue, and I hate that because it's just such lazy. You know, you just okay. First, this guy's playing Bubsy, so you know that's a bit different because that you know I've never played it, but I can clearly see that oh, yeah. it's oh, yeah. <laughs> that is something else. But that, like this game is nowhere near that level of unfinished. I you mean, know? is, like, is, the, is this is this like? Is that whole section there? Is that awful level design? I don't think so. It's not nice at all. Powerful. No, it's you know very I mean? good. Yeah. You know, it's there's nothing. I, I, there, nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. You know, nothing. really wrong with that. I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like pe people, people are just so e yeah. They, they play the first two levels and then that's it. It's like yeah. fuck off. It's just they want to hate it. They, 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 they want do. To, they uh, do want to hate it. Yeah. They, so they want know. to make a funny review with the yellow bit game. <laughs> You know, I was just saying, oh, fuck off. I, I definitely watched one of that guy's reviews and I hated it. Was this, it was his Crash Bash review, I think. Yeah, I, I, did I comment? I think I commented saying total shit or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know back, you, you know. Would, like, if, you would, um, what's the word? You you would be forever hated in the the Crash Bandicoot fan game community. Like, that they're like, basically, like, this is, like, basically what happens is if you criticize their fan game, like, people just yeah. go mental. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's it's just it's it's actually sad. But here's the interesting. Here's Russell Bob. What's he got to say? <laughs> did you just try to whisper in the in the bar? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's an exact thing that me and Johnny did. I was I like like whispered. I was like. You know, like I was like doing that, and and he goes, "Did you just try and whisper in a let's play part?" <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Was that in, which was that? It was that crop country, wasn't it? it was in, no, it was in a game called uh, like uh, like Mist or something like. No, not Mist. Sorry, it was in a game. Uh, 
What's it? It was in the game like it's like it's called like Mind. It's like some puzzle game that he did in Let's Play Off. Or he's doing oh, Let's Play okay. Off. Oh, okay. Um, oh, now I this bet. this is real. This is nice and colourful. This is I guess more up your alley in terms of what you're talking about. Like kind of a brighter kind of um, colour scheme. You see what I mean? Like it looks a bit. You know, it doesn't look as dark. You see? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and um, it's a, but it's kind of a repeat again though of like the previous time challenge that you did. Uh, it? it is. It is. The only thing I'll give it, I'll give it credit for though, is I think it's a little bit, it's a bit more. Um, there's it, like the other one. There's just like three big rooms, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this, I yeah, think yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, I right. think this is more of a path actually. Oh, uh, right, I haven't, right, I haven't. Right. The music, by the, oh, by the way, the music does change, so you actually get like your own separate track, which I always thought was awesome. Uh, you know, getting to see. Oh jeezy! Oh, what the fuck? They just bombed me. They're bloody. What the hell? They're bees. <laughs> Piss off. Um, yeah, no, They're like. Bombing. The bombing bees, yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. Well, no, th this is this is a little bit more uh, like advanced. Like I guess they, you know, again, like they had to repeat challenges because they were, you know, running out of time and and whatever they, you know, whatever else happened. But I actually don't mind this. Uh, I think I prefer it to the other challenge at least. Shit. Yes, yeah, it seems perfectly fine to me. Anyway, you know. But no, 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 don't you mean? Oh, it's fucking shit. Sucks. Crap. It's terrible. Oh Awful. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh sorry. my god. Yeah. Oh. Does anyone else think that End of the Dragonfly is so shit? Oh man, yeah. God, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm gonna go watch that Pat Strikes Back guys review and uh, again, and just to make sure that this is the. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy, and I yeah, the same guy who's reviewed that I really couldn't. First, so I'm very you know picky when it comes to reviews. I don't find that angry reviewing stuff funny at all. Like especially, I just hate reviewers who are clearly trying to be funny. Like uh, in, in the few reviews that I've done, I never tried to be funny. Yeah, you know, I yeah, just yeah. give you, you know, what it is, and I, I don't, I'm not there for any comedy. You know, like yeah. if, it, if it pops up, then it's an organic kind of thing. Yeah, it's but an I fucking organic, hate it when yeah, they're exactly. trying to be funny. It's like no, just you know, piss off. You know, just I, I don't care about your stupid humor. You know, because then it shows that they're not really trying to interact with the game as such but they're trying to get themselves over to use the rest <laughs> of the game, yeah. yeah get so, themselves over yeah exactly but yeah, I, I uh, yeah by the way about you know the crash fan game making community they could you know suck my left testicle for all I care that was amazing holy yeah. shit <laughs> I just, I just had to say that. <laughs> Holy shit. No, like, yeah, it's funny, it. I've actually yeah. got some subscribers that are very much a part of that, uh, like, whole thing, you know, so... Oh, yeah. so oh, sorry, enjoyed. sorry, lads, but... <laughs> no, but, but they're, they're okay. I think, I, I just don't like, like, the people... I mean, it's not just the people that kiss their ass, though, as well. It's also the people that criticise everything themselves. It's, it's just an awful... I'd, honestly, it, be, it would be awful making a fan game. I mean, just ask Mau Mau Club 2. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just a terrible community. Everyone either thinks they're either OCD and borderline autistic if everything isn't 100% like it was in the originals, do you know I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, good luck making a Spyro game to try and tie it into Spyro. I mean, like that would just be, oh god. I mean, Spyro making a Spyro game would be the worst thing. I mean, it would just be yeah. terrible. God, this is really difficult. It's like quite yeah, it, annoying. There must be a, a kind of a trick to it or something. It, you have a time limit as well. Bloody hell. Okay. All Wait, right. really? That, this is, Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> what the fuck? No way! Oh my. god. Goodness, Booker T. Shit. Yep. How the fuck do I? God, this is. Oh God, this is bad. Oh my God, he's slow. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. We're 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 trying to be positive about the game. We probably reached the worst part in the entire game right now. <laughs> That's that Wait, sounds. It's not like you should lock on or not lock on, but like. Fuck it. You know, what? Sorry. Wow. Well, one minute. <laughs> this, oh my God. Holy crap. There's got to be something more to this. Um, oh, that's the sound from uh, Spyro something else. Okay. Anyway, knock this down. Anyway, yeah, was it so as I was thinking, um, yeah, like you know you're targeting here, and like, you, are you not able to do that for the entire thing? What, this? Like this? Like, oh, wait, no, wait, use wait, the sorry. reticule? No, you like, use the reticule. Yeah, like that, yeah. I can. The only problem is, is that they end up shooting you really quickly as well. Um, uh, okay. By the way, well, I want to point out... The, with the balls. Pardon? They're like, they're like walls that you can cover behind, right? Okay, I reckon I'll try that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I saw them anyway. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's one. No. Yeah, yeah, maybe from far away. Yeah, that might work too. I'll try that. So. That's a good idea. Now, I'll have you know that right now the game is playing at 
between 18 and 20 FPS. So, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. yeah. The reason why is I I, I want actually because you haven't seen the parts yet because they're not uploaded for like another couple of weeks. I want to ask. I'm not trying to like like lord it over you, but what, do you, why do you reckon it's so slow? Like, just look at the screen. Why do you reckon that everything is so slow? I'll try to like give some kind of clues about it, I guess. Well, it's because they fucked up the frame rate themselves. There's nothing to do on your end, right? Um. Well, I'll, okay. What I'll, I'll just say it anyway. I'm not trying to like lord it okay. over. But okay, if you notice, look at all the particles. Look at the overuse of particles and everything like this. This is it's just too much. Oh, you're much. talking about the back base calling. Huh? Uh, what? Sorry. Back face calling. Is that what's that? Yeah, remember uh, we talked about this before. How they, when in most games, when you make a game, like you'll have like the environments, but you won't put any like design at the back of them. If you get me, so like all those rocks there, like they shouldn't have anything behind them. Like that's why you know, when you do the swimming in the air, you'll see that like all oh yeah, the invisible scene... locations basically. Yeah, yeah, it's all like yeah, it's, it's all invisible like behind the scenery and everything. But apparently they didn't do that for this game, which is one reason why it's so bloody slow. Yeah. So, or no, yeah. that's 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 the loading time. Sorry, the frame rate. That's another issue. I don't know. <laughs> well, with this, it's it, see what as well as that, as well as what you said, it's basically like because see, look at the explosion, right? That's just one little bullet, and that's making an explosion covering the entire screen. Now, right. optimization. Uh, from you know games like you know Ratchet and Clank and stuff says that that you can't you can't be doing that like there's like this like particle maker and you see that the particles are kind of realistic in a sense you know not autistic and um, you know like they're you know, they're, yeah there you go uh, shout out to you Fraser you're a legend I wanted realistic not autistic <laughs> that's uh, monkey game guys for anyone that wasn't aware. Um, yeah, yeah. Just wait a minute, is this fire. a joke right now? Like, you actually I have to... Not. You have to... You got zero seconds. Uh, I, I mean, just I failed. So. Dude, I just fucking fail. Wait. I mean... Well. Is that... Is that an actual joke? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut there, because I'm... Uh, oh. Fuck, no! I can't turn around! Shit! <laughs> fuck! Yeah. Okay, now I'm recording. <laughs> Alright, okay. Shit, shit, this oh, is shit. It. shit. Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, yeah, most <laughs> most people don't know about the whole Tumblr traffic thing. But anyway, so we are back, and we're going to get this. We've got 1 minute 17, so we've got plenty of time. But the trick is we need to make sure we get all of these yeah. without getting held back. Yeah, but you missed one back there, didn't you? Did I really? No, uh, I don't know. But I'll keep going. Okay, if not, this won't even be recorded. I'll, like, just cut it out because this is bullshit. Uh, if so, then, <laughs> then hello, everyone. <laughs> if so, then hello. God. Yeah. And yeah, we'll, we'll probably, I think we ended after this. I don't know what the, oh, that's right. The second challenge is the introduction of the very famous or infamous, depending on the way you want to view it. Um, the, what's the word? Like the, the slider challenges in this game. They love these slider challenges. That three of the four last levels or whatever have these sliding, like slider challenges. It's really weird. Well, Do you know what I mean? Like they love the sliding. I don't know why. I don't know. don't know why. Wait a minute. Do we do it? I think we... Wait. Uh, no, you got 19. You missed one, just like no. I said you did. Wait a minute. What the oh, hell? take it back. Sorry. Wait a minute. Awesome shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fifth cousin? But well, it only had 19. Where, where did you get the 20? I reckon, I reckon it's lagging behind. I reckon it got like 19 as it said. We got 20 and like continue. Ah, okay. Right, right, right. Good stuff. Right. There we go. Hopefully. All right, Russell Bob. On you, mate. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I just selected redo. No, I'm never redoing that challenge again. Ever. Yep. On a lifetime. You know oh those God. things I you... do not... I don't remember it, just to reiterate. Good like, thing. You I played through the skipped level. it. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't remember it. anything from it at all. No. Zilch. No, neither do I. Uh, fuck it. It's, it's shit. But, um... Yeah. Oh, I, I guess I'll mention the whole thing about their voices in the Italian version. Oh, so. yes, that's a very good point. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll do that now. Do that now. Yeah, yeah, cool. Right, yeah, well, um... Loading, please wait. Yeah, in the Italian version, these crocodiles have, like, kind of... I think... Was it... I think they were saying Sicilian and something else accents. So, yeah, there's your joke there, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or at least just somewhere from, like, the south, anyway. Like, south-south of Italy, I'm talking about. So like, that's meant to be, like, an Italian-based gag at, like... What? Yeah, exactly. It's like, taking the piss out of those guys. So. Yeah, you know what? The yeah, South like, rocks, so fuck you, North. So, you know. Uh, I, I like the South. No. 
The South South doesn't. Oh, the South. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I guess Molfetta isn't the South South. It's more yeah, like exactly. it's more like it's Center not. South. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like, kind of, if you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of more. Yeah, you're right. It is more Center South. But Correct. you know, I mean, my 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 grandparents went to um, what's it called? They went to where they go like Naples or whatever, and they said it was filthy. So. I don't know, I yeah, it says trash everywhere. You know, it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a shame, Naples. It's, it could have been so much. Uh, all right. Well, a lot of regions in Italy have that issue with. Yeah, Napoli is the you know that is a big issue with it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so, uh, I, some I've somehow always, like what was that? Sorry. I've always called it Napoli. So yeah, I'm, Napoli. Like, yeah, yeah. I I do know it. I do know it as that, but. Naples is like the one, like the thing that it's like ve saying Venezia, whatever you know, Venice, or uh, Venice. Oh yeah, oh no, wait, oh wait, wait. What about what about the yeah? What about Venezia? Venezia. There's Venezia and then there's Veneto. I think Veneto is the language and Venezia is the place name. That's right. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. And then there was what's the one with uh, Florence? That one. <clears throat> that one's called. What, what's that in Italian? Firenze, I believe. Firenze. Yeah, because my. Um, yeah. I tell you this. My friend. My well, actually no. My my cousin over there, a second cousin or second cousin once removed or whatever. He used to say. He used to go, <laughs> Jack, Firenze is the best. He's like 32, <laughs> and he loved Firenze, and he'd always he'd go, Jack, Jack. You know, because that's how he'd say Jack. You know, because. <laughs> That's Fulvio, awesome. if you're watching this, my friend, you're a legend, but you're probably not. I, I, I love Tuscan. You, you know, I have a Tuscan friend, and she has the best accent ever. Like, oh, that that accent is so funny, because, like, they pronounce C's as, like, it's like in Spanish when you say J, it's like, huh? Well, C in Tuscan Italian is like, it's like, huh? So it's like, I don't know, casa becomes casa. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I, I, I love uh, the, um, what's it called? The, the differences in the accents and stuff like that like and i guess you can you can you can tie it into into like even even americans are very like that you know like the more you look into it you know i mean like with italian it doesn't sound like there'd be as much of a difference especially especially because in your knowledge you think it's like a, a foreign thing it's like oh they all sound the same you know what i mean they all you know but there is a huge difference between you know especially oh, with the dialects and all that shit yep. yeah it, yeah especially with the you know the the, di the dialect is they call them like I, I i can never call them dialects because that's a that's a story for another day but yeah absolutely i mean it's uh, yeah it's same with like you know stereotypically americans thinking that all english people sound the same and all yeah. irish people sound the same you know yeah, it's it's yeah, not yeah. true like every country has and its using accents. and using uh very trite catchphrases i mean like you know you, you can't be you can't be sure Top of the board yeah. into ya. <laughs> Yeah, I swear, only Game Cindy has ever said that. So, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, that coughing fit was actually linked to the uh, laugh. But <coughs> all right, thank you for watching, and I'll we'll finish this level off in the next part. Goodbye.